Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use JMS with the Oracle Stream Explorer. First, we'll log in to the Oracle Stream Explorer. For this tutorial, we use the Internet of Things catalog section. First, we'll create a stream. We'll provide the stream with a meaningful name. Add a useful description. Relevant tags, including our IoT tag, to make sure this artifact belongs in the IoT section of our catalog. And we will define a source type for this stream as JMS. We push the next button, and we define the URL that's required for our JMS. In this case, our integrated WebLogic server with the username and password together with the required JNDI name. We push next, and now we define the shape of this JMS message. We give the shape a name, define the mapping to our JMS message, and create. As we select the option to go straight to creating an expiration, we see the creation wizard, where again we can give this expiration, this application, a name, a description, the relevant tags, and we can see that the source has already been defined for us for the JMS stream. Now we press the create button, and here we can see our expiration ready for analyzing the streaming JMS messages. For this tutorial, we have a client application that will generate the JMS messages for us. We execute this client application. It's now sending the JMS messages to our expiration, and here we can see the messages arriving on our canvas. We have also provided with the Oracle Stream Explorer not only the live output screen view, but also graphical information that provides various graphs that relate to the streaming data. And we provide various different graphs, scatter and line charts for you to analyze more effectively the tablet streaming data. Now we have completed our application. We publish the application for use by other explorations if needed. And here you can see the indication that this application exploration was published.